Welcome to this video on Vegalite Grammar of Graphics. Vegalite is a high-level visualization grammar that allows you to create visualizations using a simple and intuitive syntax. In this tutorial, we'll dive into the fundamental concepts of Vegalite Grammar of Graphics and learn how to create a variety of visualizations using the grammar. The Grammar of Graphics is a systematic way to break down data visualizations into individual components, allowing you to build complex visualizations by combining simple elements. You can think of visualization in Vega Light like writing a sentence. The grammar of graphics or the rules that we follow to ensure that we're communicating information in a way that our audience can understand, just like grammar in written language. In Vega Light, there are required elements to produce a meaningful communication, like in English sentences, how they must include a subject, verb, and punctuation at a minimum. Also like written language, in Vega Light, you can add a limitless amount of additional specifications to simple communications. By adding additions, you can make your visualizations more complex or more specific. You can change the tone or feeling of the visualization, or you can respond to audiences, among many others. The grammar of graphics breaks down visualizations into fundamental components, making complex visualizations achievable by combining simple elements. Vega Light streamlines these components into an intuitive syntax, enabling you to create diverse visualizations without complexity. The grammar specifications can be represented presented by four elements. Data transforms mark types and encodings. Data identifies the data source, which is often a table or database that you're pulling from your data from. Transforms apply operators like filters and adding additional derived information that you need to make a calculation from your data. So you're manipulating your data in some way. Mark type specify the geometric object of a data visualization. And this is important because it is different from the encoding. Essentially, a mark type is the physical element that is going to be drawn the visualization itself. And this can include bars, circles, lines, area, the physical attribute. And encoding, in contrast, maps data attributes to visual properties like position, color, size, and more. So you can modify a mark type with an encoding. For example, if you have a line chart, you can make the line, which is the mark type, different by changing the encoding. You can make it thicker or thinner. You can change the color. The mark type is the physical element and the encoding is the visual aesthetics that you apply to it. You can think of it a little bit like CSS for visualizations. Let's dissect a basic Vegalite visualization to comprehend its structure. Here we have a visualization that was published in the original paper introducing Vegalite. And what you're seeing is a mean temperature plot for various months in New York and Seattle. Now let's start with the data type. Here it is. We have weather data. It is a CSV file and you can pull lots of different data types into this element. The next element is the mark type. Here our mark is a line and you could change this to a bar or area or circle or dot. This is specifying what is being drawn on the page. The next element is the encoding. This is where we identify the visual attributes of that mark type. We are encoding the mark type with some important information. So we're using position and on the x-axis we have date and the y we have the temperature here. And now within this encoding for x and y we're also specifying the type of information. For the x it's temporal, for the y it's quantitative. That will help Vega Light determine the appropriate scale to automatically generate for you. And then in the case of the y-axis we're also doing an aggregation where we're computing the mean for that information. The last thing that we're adding in terms of an encoding is color. We are color coding the lines, which is our mark with color to specify the different locations, New York and Seattle. Now notice we don't have any specific transforms outlined here. By default, we're including all of the data in this visualization. But if you did want to transfer the data, you might consider filtering the information. For example, you might want to just show New York or just show Seattle. And to do that, you might add a transform and specify filter and set location to New York or Seattle. I haven't demonstrated in this visualization, but we can continue 
continue to add information by layering these various components within the same syntax onto our visualization here. So congratulations, you've learned the basics of Vega Lite Grammar of Graphics. With Vega Lite, you can create a wide range of visualizations by combining and layering these different components. In the future, we'll also discuss the grammar used in Vega Lite for user interactions, which has its own set of parameters. Until then, keep honing your data visualization skills and happy coding.